Welcome, this is Michael Mike, and on today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to get auto-tone with FL Studios Kitchen. It's built already in, so we're going to get started doing us a little auto-tune, all right? Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification for my next tutorials of how to use this software professionally, all right? Enough of that. Let's get started with picture. Okay, what you want to do is first from recording, I have a recording of picture. Now, what you want to do to set picture up correctly, the first thing you want to do, you want to go into piano roll. After you go into piano roll, come to this arrow, left click, go down to helpers, drop down the scale and highlighting. This is also how you put your songs in key. All right. Now, what you see, you see D has, it's in D harmonic minor. Now, if you're looking for, when you go to picture, it's not going to say harmonic minor. It's just going to say minor. All right. That's good enough. All right. So, if you want to use this, this doesn't say minor either. It's say harmonic minor, but it doesn't say minor. Don't worry about it. Or you click on for minor, natural minor. Another word for it is called Aeolian. All right? So you click Aeolian. But since mine is in a harmonic minor, now I know this is in the key of D, harmonic minor. Okay? Now, when I go back to the mixer, I have picture. I'm going to cut it on. Here's FL Studios picture. This is FL Studios Auto Tune. So, what you do is you set it to gender, whether you male, female, or up the middle for hermaphrodite. Uh, when you see this speed right here, if it's too medium, a little too slow, a little too fast, mean that um, you can really hear it on there now. When it's too fast, it means that it'll go. It'll do that wimp real quick, but you want to kind of delay the sound so you can hear it more. So put it in the middle between medium and fast, like I have it set here. Okay. Then you come right here and set it to the key. This is D. This is minor. All right. Now it's in key. Also, another thing, if you're rapping or singing in voice and you want to put your voice in key just like real quick then you can select this and you can rap a scene and then put your voice or rap verse in key in key automatic all right so i just said anything i just made something up uh, just to test out picture all right let's give it a play now if you don't know where to get picture once you highlight your track go over here to this mixer you left click and find Fruity Picture. Here, enough of that, let's hear it. See, I've been hustling in the street. Hard times and I can't eat. Never been a person been weak. Grab the microphone and tell how I feel when I speak. Yo, only just a feeling. In the ghetto is what I'm steady feeling. When my homies all dead, we be chilling. Okay, so it is virtually that easy. You set that up and then you begin to speak with it on. After that, it's recorded. Um, and that's how you can come out with your auto tune. You also can go and EQ the voice, add a little reverb, little delay. You can spice it out the way you want to um, and get it to sit tight. Another tutorial I have, I'll be showing you that. So that's basically picture and go on and get your uh, auto tune on or whatever you do in FL Studio, right? I hope this has been very helpful for you. Please hit the subscribe button or the notification button. That way I come out with videos daily. I teach EQing, compression, the whole kit and caboodle from being a beat maker all the way into it, engineers. I teach 
the effectiveness of being an engineer makes you a better producer, makes you a better beat maker. Don't let nobody hold you down or make you think any difference because you're a beat maker. Without the beat, we can't make it, all right? This is Michael Mike. I hope this tutorial has been very helpful for you. You know what I mean? Watch my next video. Hit the subscribe button, right? Hey, we out of here. See, I've been hustling in the street.